All right, students, today we are going to learn how to sew on a two-hole button. So the very first thing that we are going to start with is step one, which is threading your needle. When you thread your needle for buttons, we really want it to be secure. So we wanna make sure that we use our doubled up thread, like we talked about when we talked about threading our needle. So I'm going to double my thread up. I'm going to loop it and create my double knots at the end. Remember, we do not want to tie our thread to our needle. We wanna make sure that we are tying the knot away from where the eye of the needle is because the whole point of tying the knots is to make sure that it is secure to the fabric and it keeps it from going all the way through. I'm going to trim my threads at the end making sure that my double knots are in the same place so that it's a really strong and secure knot. The first thing I'm gonna do um, for step two, which is securing the button to the fabric, is sending my needle through the fabric. I'm gonna pull it through until that knot is tight to the fabric. Once I do that, I'm going to thread my needle through one hole of the button and then I'm gonna go through the opposite hole, okay, without going through the fabric just yet. Once I get my button to this point, I want it to be face down. There's a right side and a wrong side to a lot of buttons. If your button has any kind of decorative embellishments, that's usually what's going to be the top of the button. On the back of the button, it's going to be all the same size and it's not going to you know, have any decorative elements. This side also has a ridge, so it kind of dips down like a bowl. That's the side that we want to be up. So we're going to place it on the fabric right side, or sorry, face down. Then I'm going to look to see how far apart these holes of the button are. And I'm going to make my stitch about that far apart. Okay, so now I have secured my button with one stitch. We want to do a full loop around our button five times. Five is gonna be kind of our magic number for the first couple of steps. So what I'll do when I'm on the back side is head towards where the knot is, send my needle through the fabric, and pull. As I go, I'm making sure that my stitches are nice and tight and compact, and that I'm not all over the place. When I'm on the front, head back through and I'm just going to go around this button five times I think this is four and if you lose count and you do you know an extra one or two it's really not going to make a huge difference as long as you keep your stitches neat, no one will ever know. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now I'm ready for step three, which is creating the thread shank. The thread shank is designed to create space underneath the button for when you've um, put your button through the buttonhole um, so that the fabric has a place to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my needle kind of close toward the center. I'm gonna fold the fabric up so that I can send my needle through, just through the fabric, but not through the button. Once I'm happy with the placement, I will pull it all the way through. Oh. And then I'm just going to wrap my thread around the button five times. So once, two times, three times, four times, five times. I'm gonna take a look, make sure that everything looks pretty good. You want your stitches to be tight to the button and not looped, you know, kind of crazy and loose. Once you're happy with your thread shank, you are going to send it back through just the fabric, not the button, until your needle comes out near where the stitches already are.
We are then going to tie off our work with a knot two times. So I'm just going to pick up a little fabric near where all of the stitches are. Kind of like that. We're gonna pull our thread almost all the way through. So this is step four, securing your work with an ending knot. We are going to take our needle, we're gonna put it through the loops of the fabric. And then we're going to pull. This allows us to make a knot that is really close to um, where our fabric is. We're gonna do one more of those. Just going through a little bit of the fabric, through my loops. Then I'm going to pull. Once you have done that, just trim it off. Be very careful not to cut off your ending knot, but then you have a two-hole button.